Hey crafty friends. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday. It is absolutely gorgeous outside here in Florida and I hope wherever you are, if you're catching this today or on the replay, you are having a beautiful day as well. So on today's Show Me Saturday, we will be making a fun fold card. So I have a sample in front of me and I do have some more samples that I'll show you at the end of the video. But look at how cute. This is so easy to make, um, just a few simple cuts. And really, you could, once you have the measurements, you can then uh, create and change up the size a little bit. As you see here, I have some double mat, which in the one that I'm going to show you is only going to have one mat. But then, like I said, as you know the measurements, you would just keep um, changing it up and adding some additional mats. So this um, card that I used right here, I used the new Just a Note. This is a really cute stamp set. It has some good sentiments on it. So Just a Note is your main sentiment, and then you have to say hello to let you know I'm thinking of you, to tell you thank you, to say I love you. And like I have on the inside here, I stamped just to let you know I'm thinking of you. So this is one of the samples, but today we are going to make an Easter card, and we... I did all of the pre-stamping and cutting for you, and we are gonna be using Easter Blessings. So this is the stamp set that I'm gonna be using today. And hold on one second. Okay, yep, so we're gonna be using Easter Blessings. This is item number Z3935. This is a stamp and thin cut, and I had gone ahead and pre-cut, pre-stamped everything, but I'm gonna show you how to design the fun fold, and I will do that live, and then we'll use all my pre-cut um, items. So I'm gonna get that out of the way. The paper that I'm using today is the Easter uh, the Daisy Meadows, and unfortunately, I have been making so much Easter cards, so here's my paper pack, what's left of it. Um, so I just have a few samples. I can show you the papers that come in that pack. So they're double-sided, and you would get two of each of these along with the sticker set. And again, mine is pretty much finished. I have another pack on order. Um, so let me show you the pieces that I used. This is the wreath from the Stampin' Thin Cut. And to color that, I used our tri-blend markers and I used a variety of colors. I used the light yellow blend, the dull green, the green turquoise, and the pale pink. So I just color, I stamped it with intense black and just colored that in. And that's really about all I did on this. I, On the inside piece here, I also stamped a few of the flowers. I die cut out the cross on glitter paper, and then I stamped the Easter blessings. I used peacock ink for this, and then I just die cut that out. So I'm gonna show you how to create the card, and then we will go back to all my pieces. So to do this, to create this fun fold, you're going to need, um, it's easiest with a piece of eight and a half by 11, and all you're going to do is cut this, at four and a quarter. So you would just make a four and a quarter cut and there you have it. That's what we're gonna use. That makes our fun fold. Let me pull in my scoring tool here. Okay, so now you're gonna take your four and a quarter by 11 and you're just gonna uh, score this at five and a half. Okay. So this is gonna make your card base. That's all the scoring that you're gonna do here. So you just fold that over and there is your card. Now, you're gonna just need your uh, paper trimmer one more time. You're gonna open this up and you're gonna now cut your front panel at three. So you're gonna cut off three. So this is what you're left with. And that's your basic cut to create this card. So I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna bring in my pieces that I've already cut. I'll give you all the measurements and then we'll put it together. So here was my cardstock. Okay, this was, I cut it at four and a quarter by 11. This was my first piece. I scored it at five and a half and then I cut off three. So this is what I'm left with. 
And if you use our cardstock, you know, we have, uh, there's the light side and the dark side. So it really works out well when you're creating cards to give it some dimension. So the next cut that you need is you need two pieces um, of white. I used white daisy. Both of them are cut at two and three quarters by four. So one is used to layer on the front like this. And then the other one is for your inside piece and that just covers up. Okay, and again, um, you're gonna need a piece of pattern paper for your inside as well. And this is cut at five and a quarter by four. So that's gonna go on the inside. You can see this coming together now. Here's your inside piece and pretty much your inside is done. For your front, and I'll go over these dimensions again with you. So for your front um, layer for your top flap, same coordinating paper, two, uh, two and a quarter by four. And that just goes on the top there. And then that's it. There's pretty much your card. And then you design however you would like. So we're gonna assemble this and I'll show you some different samples that I've made and how easy this is to create. So like I mentioned first, if you wanted to double mat this, as I showed you, I'll bring my sample back in. Here I have two mats. You would just cut another eighth smaller or bigger than one of your pieces. So you would just start to cut everything by eighths. Okay, so I think, I haven't made this one yet, but I think, sorry, I think I'm going to put my wreath here, put my cross on top and then pop up my Easter blessings. And that's gonna be it for this card. I did cut out, um, stamp and cut out He Is Risen, and I was thinking about putting that somewhere, but I'm not sure. So let's just go over these measurements one more time, and then we'll get to putting it together, and this is done. Starting off with an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, you wanna trim it right down the middle at four and a quarter. So then you're left with four and a quarter by 11. Score it, five and a half and then cut off three inches off the front panel. Top flap, two and a quarter by four. Inside mat, five and a quarter by four. Two pieces of white daisy, two and three quarter by four. And that is all the cuts to create um, this fun fold. So other things that I have on my desk, I'm gonna use some of our 3D foam tape. Uh, pair of scissors. I'm going to use the Daisy Meadows enamel dots to add some more decoration to the outside. Our new tweezers that are absolutely great. These are so pointy and I love them. They are really good for picking up um, little embellishments and adding it to your card. So I have my tweezers. I have my adhesive runner and my liquid glue. So I'm going to use liquid glue today that's what I'm going to start with and I'm going to first put down my inside panel now I also want to say there's two ways to create this card it could either and I'll show you that in my samples it can either go open um, sideways or it can open top to bottom so you just remember that when you're putting down and cutting your orientation of your pattern paper but um, you'll see the way mine's going together and then um, it'll make more sense when I show you all the samples so we're just gonna layer this down. I use lots of glue, I use lots of adhesive, it's just me, that's how I am. So you might see me putting down that liquid glue and thinking, wow, she doesn't need that much, but I know, I use a lot though. And I like to use this because you just have like, a, a, you know, you have a few seconds to move it around if you didn't put that down properly. So I'm gonna take my Next layer, oops, and that goes on the front, just like that. This is really, really easy. Now, for the inside, I'm just gonna kinda place that where I think it's gonna go. And I am going to adhere these two pieces together. Just 
just like that. Hi, Rosemary. I just checked to see if I had any comments, if you're still watching. Okay, so you have that right there. The way this gets placed on is, actually I'm gonna grab some of our foam dots, that'll be easier. So you are going to put about three foam dots at the top of this right here, of this panel. So. You can use two, three, however much you think, but kind of right at the top like that. And it's going to go just like that. So we'll adhere this down. And, you know, I just kind of eyeball it straight. Just like that. So there's our flap. And now this bottom piece, you want to always make sure you hide. That's why I hadn't adhered this down yet because I want to make sure I have it in the right spot. So I'm now going to add some glue to the back here. And if I was going to stamp more in this, I always stamp before I adhere down because if I make a, a mistake, which happens often, I don't want to ruin my entire card. I can always cut another piece of White Daisy but I'm not, um, this is just gonna be an area for me to write. Okay, so pretty much there's your card. Very, very easy. So this is opening to the side. Like I said, you can have this go uh, to, the, actually this one's opening, um, uh, opening forward, but this could also open to the side. It just depends on how you're going to uh, design the front and your paper. So now I'm gonna bring in my pieces here. And I'm going to use some foam tape. We have, um, in our foam tape, it comes in two sizes. So there's a thicker and a, and a thinner. So I'm gonna use the thinner. I can also just use some dots on the back of there too. Actually, I'm gonna use some dots. That might be easier. I'm just gonna put four dots. And you can find all these supplies on my website, craftydivausa.ctmh.com. And if you create this, um, I'd love you to share your design for me to post. I think that'd be great. Okay, so we have our wreath. Now I'm going to, I think I'm just going to lay that directly on. So I'm going to add some adhesive on my cross here. I think that's in the bottom. Yeah, right in the middle. Just like so. Now I'm gonna take my sentiment and I'm gonna pop that up. So I wanna pop it up right on each side of the banner. Put another little piece of foam tape in the middle there where the cross is. There, perfect. So it doesn't flatten out. And make sure you stick with me till the end here and I'll show you some examples with some new product that we have. And there you have it, super easy fun fold. Easter card. I really like the way this one turned out. Oh, and let's put some more embellishments here. So threes. We always do thing when we add embellishments or rhinestones. It's always in a pattern of three. It's just kind of how um, I've been told and trained when crafting. See how nice these tweezers are? Okay, so I'm gonna put one here. I'm going to take another small one. One there, and maybe we'll put a yellow one. No, I'll do a pale pink little one. Up here. 
And then I'll probably come in with some liquid pearls. Actually, I will probably put some liquid pearls inside these flowers and uh, some shimmer brush. I like to add some more um, embellishments at the end, but there you have it, easy, fun fold. So let me show you some of the examples. So this one, I used our new Daisy Meadows Stampin' Thin Cut. This is item number Z3933. And look at this adorable bunny. Have a 24 karat day. So again, this one opens top to bottom. And I have a layer, as you see on this top panel. So all I did was cut an eighth of an inch bigger than the... Um, the uh, size of the top flap, which was two and a quarter by four. So I just put a solid piece, an eighth of an inch bigger, just to make that layer there. And on this inside uh, cardstock piece here, I have three layers. So I have my five and a quarter by four is my white daisy. I believe I cut this pattern maybe at four and a quarter by three and three quarters, that checkered, and then I have my white piece. So again, once you just have the um, standard sizes, you can then just create as however you'd like here. Okay, so here's one with the orientation opening sideways. This I used our Daisy Meadows Scrapbooking Stampin' Thin Cut, item number Z39, Z3932, and what you see here is I cut out from the pattern paper some of those eggs. I use some shimmer brush and then I just pop them up, if you can see in the video. But again, different orientation here. Okay, so there's that one. And then I created one with our Home Sweet Home Stamp and Thin Cut, item number 3755. And I used um, this little key heart I stamped and cut that out and it's actually holding because this is a little thicker because it's heavier and I got lots of dimension. If you can see here, I added a few layers. So just so it stays closed, I'm using that key just to hold that closed. But I think this really came out adorable um, with this home. I have a few people that I know that just purchased homes. So this is a card for them. Congrats on your new home. So that's another sample and then last is um our new besties this is lucy i really think this is super adorable and i used her in this card here wishing you the happiest of birthdays this is just a stamp i had in my stash and this pattern paper is just from my stash but just look at how cute she is and I colored her with tri-blend markers. So there you have it. Here is my examples for our fun fold card. Um, in the next few weeks, I think I'm gonna be doing uh, some more fun folds. I just think they're easy and you can just create lots of cards from them. You know, when you, know, when you have the standard measurements, you can then just start changing it up to what you like. So I hope you liked this video. Um, follow my page here. Um, give me a like. Um, share a comment. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me at craftydivausa at gmail.com is my email. And all the products I showed you today that I used are available on my website. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. And I will see you next Saturday, 1030 Eastern Time for my Show Me Saturday. Take care.